Well, good day, tubes. What the heck happened to this guy? I know, I know, I know, I know. It's getting too woolly. It's starting to get hot out and warm out here, so I thought, okay, this time. <laughs> so we put a clip on the, the bzzz guy and uh, shaved ourselves pretty much bare. So, oh, look. Pretty much no ice left except there and a little skip of it down there. Pretty much nothing left. Wow. So that's good. She's pretty much melted right out. But anyways, how's she going today? Pretty good here and stuff in case I've already asked you. I might have already asked you. So uh, pretty good here. Uh, beauty day again. Of course, it's supposed to rain on the weekend. Figures, you know, one of them deals. But uh, what are we doing today? Well, I gotta go do some stuff back on the grounds back here. But I do have to get my little trailer out. Oh, do I have to? Maybe not. No, I don't think I have to. I can probably just use my, uh... oh yes, I will have to. <laughs> so let's get the little trailer out here. And we'll just hook it to the um, little tractor. Come on, you dumb thing. It's neat having a combination lock, but sometimes if you go past, it kind of sucks again. You gotta go roll it all the way around again. I usually do that like three times in a row. To like, you know, clue in what the heck I done wrong. But anyways, uh, by the looks of things, you guys don't want to be uh, watching any GTA 5 videos, so <laughs> I guess I'll just play it myself and uh, won't post anything up on the channel because holy, I mean I put in the title that it was coarse language and very coarse language, I couldn't really say much more about it than that, other than it was coarse language, so oh, so uh, yeah, it's just, uh, that's a really horrible game actually that uh, Grand Theft Auto is a really, really horrible game. Um, I'm really surprised that it was actually ever able to be released like that in the general public, you know, because uh, if you play a couple of missions, it's like ten times worse as what I showed in the little clip of just driving around and a couple of sort of bad words and swears and stuff. Holy, if you do a mission, wow! You know, and it doesn't take a whole lot to insult me, but I was getting kind of from it, you know. I'm like, wow, this is pretty brutal. So, I don't so much like it, the game for, uh, let's go to the side here where it's quieter. I don't so much like it for that, the mission-y stuff. I like driving around and, you know, doing jumps and, oh, that's cool, let's grab this car and try this one out and jump it over or something, you know, or, or uh, you can drive tractors, like farm sim kind of. And you do tractor driving and stuff which is kind of cool too and you know stuff like that so but there's a lot of content in it that is very repulsive I must say holy cow and pretty much doesn't hold anything back for anything so yeah but uh, anyways uh, let's go in the other garage here too for a minute uh, I just gotta pull this trailer out well let's pull the trailer out here first maybe this guy <laughs> hmm. Oh, okay. Well, there's that board that we put the construction adhesive on. She's hardened up pretty good now. now it's either going to really stick and be good on the end of the board here, or it's going to all of a sudden chip and peel right off. Who knows? This stuff's pretty brutal, so it should hopefully stay pretty good. I guess that's the one that we fixed, too, and well, it's buried under all the other ones, but I think we fixed that one, too. Um, okay, so let's pull our little trailer out. This thing weighs a lot. <laughs> Someone built this thing way too heavy. Ugh. And, uh, oh, that's something I gotta do today is uh, sharpen this guy. 
and clean them up and stuff. I've nicked a couple of things with it and it's kind of messed a couple of teeth up. I don't know. I guess I can probably get one more sharpen out of it. I used it the other day. They wanted me to cut this big tree down. That was a um, flowering crab. And I still got like the bottom part over there of the, the stump guy for uh, grabbing whoa, with the back hoe so I can and yank it out when I'm out next time with that. So I didn't want to do it the other day when I was out because uh, didn't really have a lot of good topsoil to fill the hole back in after so uh, we'll have to do that and I need from my back door here find the key because it is locked now it's not locked <gasps> oh it works good um, what I need what what is it I need? I need this guy. And he's probably gonna need some gas. Uh, yeah. I'll top it up. Got a little bit left in here. paddly guys now I can't take you back here unfortunately well maybe I could set it up on the trailer or something we'll see here I need this guy I'll take this and <laughs> oh there seems to be some string wrapped around my dewey guy here, so we gotta take. Mm-hmm. 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 Mm -hmm. take my brushes back to here um, my brushes just in case it's still a bit wet back here so I don't know how much of this thing I'm actually be able to do here's my brushes and what else do I need I have to take my blower attachment, but for some weird reason, I'm not really too sure where I put it. I'm going to have to look around for it here. Uh, I've probably taken it off and put it down. See, there's my extension bars, which I don't really need an extension bar. And no, oh crap, I'm not into knitting, my, my wife is. She knitted all that. There's those extension bars. I don't want those right now. Yes, I know I need to organize my shop a little bit here, get rid of this old door and stuff. Where did I put my little blower guy? Okay, big hunt, here we go. Oh, I found it, no wonder I couldn't see it, it was in behind the door. <laughs> I knew it was here somewhere. Anyways, we gotta hook this up and uh, hit her back. Okay, well, sorry I couldn't film back there. There's just a lot of people back there and I just don't feel right, you know, doing that while, you know, that's not right. That's not right. So, anyways, we did well. Cleaned up some stuff. Mostly stuff from like winter time where you know you're spilling stuff and then it gets frozen down and then you can't really, you know, tear it up again. So, but uh, there's one spot back there we're actually gonna need. I should get that out. We're gonna need uh, this guy and our propane tank. And uh, there's one spot there in the winter where I was clearing off, so I say our bench is the road, I was clearing off some snow, and I just caught the edge of the asphalt when I, when I started curling up, and it ripped a chunk out. So what I'm gonna have to do is uh, hook this up to my propane tank and then um, 
heat it up again and then kind of mush her back together and uh, I think it should be all right. We'll heat up the base part too a bit, make her gooey and sticky and then heat up the other stuff and then smash her back in. I think I should uh, seal her up pretty good. So basically what I got now is like the old asphalt, say like this, the new asphalt and I've tore off like a, a chunk, you know, which was only about that thick. So yeah, so we'll have to heat her up and um, mush her back down, but I'll do that some some night after the gates close and you know we're just gonna be looking at the road so should be uh, should be good but uh, anyways um, that's it for that for now I guess uh, probably not much else gonna be happening today here what we're gonna probably do is you've probably seen the little video I just heard me put up um, a little bit earlier there explaining why tonight's video is a bit later because Dilly and I are gonna be building a door so if all goes well it doesn't start pouring rain but I guess we could build it inside that work too. Um, so yeah, but that'll probably be the next segment because there's really nothing else. Man, this is a dirty lens. <whistles> Got orbs. It's the funniest thing ever. People are like, oh, there's an orb in my picture. Uh, yeah, something on your lens, bud. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> but it wasn't there when I was looking. Well, yeah, because it's on your lens, bud. Uh, I don't know. People are funny when they... It's like UFOs. Okay, you see a UFO flying around. Bring the worst camera I've got. And then it's all fuzzy and nothing, you can't see nothing. Yeah, so I know, whatever. Uh, <laughs> that always seems to be the way. But anyways, uh, yeah, we're going to build that door hopefully tonight. And mostly get her done. If not, we'll finish up the next day, whatever. We'll do as much as we can. And go from there. So I got a little bit more to do outside. And um, I'll wait for Dilly to get home from school. I think I got to take out my saw from here. I did run a, whatchamacallit, off um, the switch yesterday, a little plug, so that's good. I don't think I need a lot of plugs in there. We, we vacuumed the place out, the vacuum I got up there, it worked good, sucked her all out, so the vacuum really sucks, actually, it's really starting to suck, but anyways, uh, should be good for all we need it for there. But anyways, uh, whenever Dilly gets home, we'll start uh, building up a door. All right, Dilly's not quite home yet, but I got some of the wood all measured up in a couple of the first couple of screws and just to kind of hold her as a, a framey guy. So this will give us uh, half an inch clearance on the bottom, which I probably don't need that much, but uh, so I actually I just put a half inch piece of plywood down, measured all from there, and I left a half inch on top because what I want to do is put in some jam guys too. I guess they call it not door jams, uh, store stop guys. So I don't have like the correct amount of wood here for that but basically there will be like another guy not this big of course screwed onto there and the door will like up against this when it's shut uh, that'll give us a little bit extra it'll also cover that a little bit of gap up now I left a half inch gap on the top and on the bottom we'll probably get some kind of sweep thingy you know like a door sweep they call them I think on the very bottom and up top will be like another uh, one of these whoops, jam guys, kind of like there, right? So it'll come and hit against the door. So that is basically the way it's going to sit. And this end here on the hinge end, I think I'm not too sure what I want to do yet. But I think I might put in like a 2 by 8 in there because of these guys. Now this part here is going to get mounted uh, like on the shed here. It's good and thick. I can put a nice big long lag bolt screw guy through there. And then this one is going to have to go across the door like this. And uh, I could put all these little boards in, but I think it would be better if I put one, one bigger fella in. You know what? I was just at the Home Depot too. And where... There's my tape. So something kind of like that. And then, uh, well, there we would need a 2 by 2 by 2 by 2 by Now, stupid wood. See, these are supposed to be 2 by 3 and they're actually 2 by, or 1 by, 1 and, a, one and 3 quarter, I think, by 2 and a half. So you got to compensate for that, you know. <clears throat> So if I got a 2x8 would be 
Oh boy. I don't know. Whoa. I hear a dilly. Hi. Hi, dilly. Watch the screw. Don't step on that. It would really hurt. We got some of it screwed together, dilly. Ooh. But I left some screwing for you if you want to do some screwing. Um, basically, somewhat together. We just got to kind of structurally make her a bit structurally more structurally. So uh, if you want, wherever you see like a little hole, okay, you can take a screw. Mm -hmm. Uh huh. Okay. Now the tricky thing is, there's gonna be some on the sides here too. There's little holes on the side. Oh. Okay. So you're gonna have to get it down there and brrr, that way too. Okay. So this one all the way in. That's it. Yeah. Yeah. Until it goes. Brrr, and that's good. Until the the head of the screw goes flush with the the uh, Fowler guy there, the the brackets. Is it flat down. We need a little more there. Give her, don't, don't go too much. That's good. And yeah, we're just trying to figure out for our hinges, Dilly. Out, rock in the knee. Because I want to get a, once we get all those screwed in there, I want to get another, I might have to go to the depot again, get like a two by, probably a 10. Okay. Oh, what do I do with my tape now? Okay, let's put you guys on a tripod here. Look, it's right there. Don't get moved, we should be good, Dilly. 13 inch. Yeah, I'm gonna do a little extra for that wood. Yeah, do all the corners in there. That's right, do all the corners first. 
double check those when you get to those ones. Wish I had another screw gun, and I do, but I don't have another battery because my battery capped on me. Stupid battery! I guess that's okay. Huge hinges. Try blowing off now, I have to pull half the wall off. Yeah. Don't tell them that. <laughs> uh -huh. Works good, eh? Yeah. This whole entire shed was pretty much put together with that screw gun. <laughs> all the hurricane tie guys and all the screwing the walls together and studs together. And there's a few nails here and there, but most of her three inch screws. So these measurements in here are all good? Well, let's double check. We could put a square, I guess, to it too, make sure it's square, but I'm not being zoomer too accurate, so as long as we got from this side to here, 13 inches. Just make sure that bracket's in good and tight. And I'll hold it if you want to drive one. Can we, can we? Oh, yep, they can see us. We look like ants, so <laughs> such a long way up. It's a little thing. Ooh, square. Go back this way a little bit. Gotta follow your screw in. There you go. Got a whole pocket full of them. Yep. Holy cow.
13 too. We've got a little extra. I left another inch for uh, two by whatever we're going to jab in there with some, uh, I don't know what yet, but probably some more of them brackets. Now we'll let Dilly finish firing screws in these here and uh, see how she's looking. Hopefully it's looking all right. Hopefully we'll have to take all the screws out again. Well, we have to, we can. Which is nice. Yeah. How was school today? Yeah. Thank you. Didn't get in a fist fight today? Almost. Almost again? Yep. <laughs> oh dear. Surprised I didn't. Oh. So this will get a lot structurally stronger when we put the, the wood on the back. Yeah. Now, hopefully. We could probably do that at any anyish time, but I wouldn't mind getting that two by what is that say two by ten ish? Wait. We need you know eight will be seven and seven and I can't remember. As long as we got eight inch on the board, we should be good because that's about what I need. Yes. Hangs over a little bit, that's okay too. If it hangs into the in the door a bit, that's okay. You won't see it anyway. It's gonna get all swamished together and glued and <laughs> screw the plywood onto her and it should be good. Down. We'll have to make sure when we go out there, we'll have to make sure there's no screws on the ground. Yeah. Or we're done for. Four, so we got three here. Now we gotta do the other end. Yay! Yeah, I wonder if we're going to use that whole pack. 
there. Well, there was how many in here? Uh, lost. Well, Hopefully we haven't screwed this to the floor. Yeah. We screwed it to the floor. Oh, we're good. These are an inch and a quarter. It's gonna get a little longer than that. Nah, I don't think I better. Ooh, that's how strong until you get your other pieces on so we're just gonna try a whoops do a trial fit here. Try something. Looks like it is pretty easy to get out, though. 
Ja. All right, so we got a wood. Hopefully, I, I, I marked it right up there. Uh, 77 and 3 8. So I left a little extra for the screw heads there because it's going to be hard to get it wedged in there. I think I don't want to disform the shape of our door if I, you know, got to jam it in there. So uh, I also got some of the mending plates. I'll show you what I'm going to do with those in a sec here. Uh, but, anyways, I got to figure out how to cut this. And I don't think my guy here is a 2 by 10 by 8, eight foot. I don't think my guy there's gonna cut her, so I'm gonna have to get out this fella here and, and do that. Cut. That's gonna suck because I'm really not good at them. Okay, I'm not very good at one of these, so don't laugh at me. Not funny. Maybe. <laughs> I'm, I'm not very good with saws like this. Here we go. Oh, wait a minute. I need safety glasses. Ha 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 ha. At least I remember that. Just about to pull the trigger and. Uh, not the very best working table either, but... I think that should work. Now let's see. Um, it's going to fit in our door, or if i got to shave it off. Sawdusty, Dilly! Sawdusty! Here, just like my pants. Mm -hmm. Oh. Oh, she's so close. Yeah, it's so far. Okay, so I need to shave a hair a little bit off of it. And that's gonna suck because this is really hard. Really not good at doing this. Uh, what do you think, man? <laughs> Get myself positioned correctly ish enough. screws are kind of screwing with this so I might, I might just nick a little bit off and get her in nice and tight there. So I gotta cut her a little bit here and a little bit there. Suck. And we're gonna have to move you fellers over here maybe. To there. Bit that's gonna screw me here too, so you don't have to do something you're not supposed to. And that's a sharp blade on that thing. Let me tell you. Sharp, sharp, sharp. Okay, 
Hit it, square blades. Now let's try our fit. What do you think, Dilly? Is it going to work? Mm. Hard to say. A little bit silly. I'm going to lay the door down again to fasten this feller in. Hot spanner. Whoa! <laughs> going to have to screw that one in. I cut a little bit too much there, but I think it'll work. Okay, I'm happy-ish with that. Okay, we're going to have to reorganize here now. Okay, so these little plates, this is uh, what I was kind of thinking, but I wanted to also as well put... One and... Um, yeah, one... Um, actually, I did it the wrong way. I think I could, still could do it. I wanted to put one of these guys on like this too, right? Um... It's just not going to kind of quite fit exactly right there. So these uh, mending plates are sort of not really meant for that, but I think it should kind of hold her together. And then uh, once we get the, some glue on her, and then screw the plywood down to the wood here, she'll be good and super strong, I do believe. So i uh, just going to try something else here first. Because I think I put this sort of on the wrong way, although it should still work. Should still work. Kind of, sort of work. And yeah, we can still put a bracket, I think, on these sides. I don't know how we're going to get these other ones screwed here. Something like that. I don't know. And I need one like that. I guess we should be able to burp those in there pretty good. And uh, hopefully that'll work. Maybe what we'll do, Dilly, before we get uh, fired on those plates, we'll just screw those like that and give her a trial fit again here. Just before we drive those guys in, because they're really hard to get out again. Okay, uh, you got to step out of the frame, Dilly, so I can lift her here. Or you're going to be part of it. <laughs> yeah. Uh, let me get a little heavier. Okay, now. I did have her marked the way I wanted her, but I could either go either or other, either way, I suppose. That's right inside, right outside. So we're almost there. The reason it's getting heavier, Dilly. Oh, why? Yeah. But you need something good to. Not too bad. You need something good to uh, attach your, your guys to there, so... Okay, so let's see here. Let's grab a hinge. We'll bring you guys with us, of course. Believe it or not, 13 inch space. I could squeeze through it. With all my clothes on. Can you believe that? Okay. This actually has to come out a little more yet. Whoa. Okay, hang on. Jump off the big door here, Dilly. Let's pull it out of the way first. Aka, aka. That's good. And uh, we'll have to do a lot more aligning when we. Uh... Oh! Get her off from where we want her here. That'll give us a rough idea here. So, whoa! Whoa, I can't walk for the, the cornflakes. Okay, so one will go there. Oh, we go. Uh -huh. And then I'll get some like nice big bolts to bolt them together. And uh, we'll figure that out, but I gotta remember there's gonna be another 
half inch layer of plywood on the top of this too, so it's actually gonna have to be back right about there. So that, yeah, will be the same, but should work, should work good. Okay, well, I think for tonight, we'll nail on these pieces on the inside, or maybe on this side. Probably be, well, I got actually some for both sides, so we'll put uh, one in the corner, and one, you know, here and here, and one in this corner, and vice versa on the other side. Okay, so let's get set up here again. Okay, I'm not exactly sure why I want to put these silly things on here, but I guess anyways, if I'm putting bolts through, I'm going to have to drill a hole anyway, so I'll just drill through the plates, and then, you know, if the hinge happens to end up on one of the plates, which it probably will. <laughs> so, Dilly... You got a hammer? Okay, mm -hmm. let me just take the hammer for a second. I'll just sort of tack these on where I want them so they don't jump around like they just did there. And one at the very top. to glue it now I guess. Alright we're gonna glue this feller down and then we're gonna screw the, the tops so the insides down and this stuff is oh, really hard to get out. It's like cement. Yeah. It's just like cement. Thank you. 
Let's do like two of those things. Yeah, I think we're going to need to. Might as well finish this one up on this side, I guess. Yeah. This should hold her together pretty darn good, I think. Okay, Deli. Where's your screw gun? Oh, here it is. Okay, we're gonna need to get her tacked down here fairly quickish. It's not super fast setting stuff, but. some in first. Dilly, you want to do some more here around the outside, or... Where's the middle peg? <laughs> well, I know we got the 2 by 10s Should be able to feel. me any towel. Towel. Apart. And I will get 
Oh crap. I guess, I hope this one's okay. I think it's been out here all winter. Oops. My other tube is stuck here. Starter. Put a couple of holes in the thing down there, and then it should. Oh, not enough. Stupid thing. It's not long enough. That's a metal plate. <laughs> Back it out. Should do it. Okay. Okay, next piece. Got her. Maybe just one more. 
wire right there. That leaves us for good measures. Whoop. for this anymore. Kung Fu Panda after ya! <laughs> Alright! I think we're good for today, Dilly. Let's uh, maybe jack them up, up in the air. And hopefully I didn't get any screws in the floor. But <laughs> hopefully not, yeah. Yeah, I can tell this is going to be heavier now. <laughs> yeah. Probably gonna pick it up the wrong way, but oh, that's stiffer, that's for sure. 
Yeah, I picked it up the wrong way. I picked her up the wrong way. Is it lighter than the other door, though? Not much. You press pause on there for a second. Not really pointing another right now. Okay, we're gonna do another fit here. Woo. And uh, see how well, how off we are. Let's go wider. <laughs> okay. So I should have put a handle here. It's hard to grab when there's nothing to grab to. Yeah. There's a little snug here and there, but the building's not square. It really moved a lot this winter. Did you put it through our wagon? No. Um, no, that's the... And side over here, I think. <laughs> she might need a little trimming, a little shaving here and there. A little tight up in this corner, and lots of room down there. You know, I think I know why though, because <laughs> when the feller that built the door here built it for me, uh, he used a sledgehammer to adjust the walls. So that's probably why this one's like way out here now. So yeah, I wasn't too happy with that. I'm like, wow, um, that's why it's probably not so too square now, but I think it should work. Overly all, should work. Should work, should work, hopefully. I'll have to make her fit, I guess. Well, I can't believe it drove all them screws and didn't even die. Still got lots of juice, but these are funny though. And then all of a sudden, and then did. <laughs> but anyways, I'll take her and juice her. Thanks for your help, Dilly. It looks good, eh? Yep. You got one more layer to do. We'll let that one dry. And then we'll put the half inch on for the outside. Get her roughly in place where we want her. And uh, then we will put the hinges on. Door handle kind of guy on. Relocate the locky guy there. And uh, should be it. Painter, I guess. Some kind of paint. Lime green or something. I don't know. Well, anyways, that's it for tonight. Have a good night. Thanks for watching. Don't forget to check out my buddies there, uh, Daz. If you've checked them out, if not, go check them out. And Landy Kid there, go check him out too. Links are in the bottom. Thingy there. And uh, in the description. Yep. And Farm Sim Saturday up tomorrow. I'm getting stared at by my wife like, what are you doing? What are you doing? We are finishing up our video from Kermit the Frog. That got her going. <laughs> uh, but, anyways, have a good night. Enjoy Farm Sim Saturday morning. We actually did farming which was awesome, and apparently no GTA video, so sorry about that, but uh, I'm not taking a pound like that again over one little video, holy. And like I was saying earlier, that's nothing compared to what this video or what the game will put out, holy cow. But, oh, the bike. bike. But anyways, have a good night. Thanks for watching, we'll catch you tomorrow.